Quantum memories are a critical part of quantum computers and communication systems, allowing for on-demand storage and buffering of qubits across the network. Most researchers use cryogenic refrigerators or complex trapping schemes to freeze particles in place and use them for the storage of qubits. Connect, on the other hand, is building high-performance quantum memories that work at room temperature and so can be deployed and used anywhere on the planet. Do this, QNECT is leveraging an extraordinary process known as Electromagnetically Induced Transparency, or EIT, which allows us to store and release photons in an atomic vapor. Here's how it works. Atoms tend to absorb photons with energies that are resonant with their electronic energy levels. The photon excites the atom, and the atom inevitably goes back to its minimum energy state by releasing another photon in a random direction. EIT is a mechanism that uses a strong laser field to control this absorption process. Under the right conditions, photons can travel through even a dense collection of atoms unaltered. We can use the control laser to modulate the transparency. If we quickly switch the control laser off while a photon is in the atomic gas, the photon is stored until we turn the control laser back on. The great thing about EIT is that the atoms work together, collectively, preserve all the quantum information of the photon while it is being stored inside the medium. The process of storing qubits using EIT can happen at low temperatures, where the atoms are frozen in place, or in vapor cells filled with warm atoms moving at very high velocities in random directions. The crucial quantity is the coherence time, or the length of time the atoms can maintain the information necessary to rebuild the photon. Coherence time can be significantly improved by using a noble gas as a buffer, limiting the diffusion of the atoms that carry the information. Another challenge is noise. While EIT allows for room temperature storage of photons on demand, the control field also introduces trillions of additional photons, and these need to be separated from the single photons that carry the information, called qubits. QNEX quantum memories combine a proprietary technique to minimize the atomic noise, with a very powerful and efficient filtering system to eliminate the vast majority of the unwanted control photons, resulting in a very high probability of qubit retrieval. This process allows us to start with millions of noise photons for every qubit and pass only one noise photon for tens of qubits. Here is another great thing about our quantum memories. They not only store single photons long enough for transactions in quantum networks, but they can even preserve the polarization of each photon even when this polarization is random or entangled with that of other photons. Any arbitrary polarization state of a photon is a superposition of horizontal and vertical polarization. We use an optical trick to convert this superposition into a spatial superposition without damaging it. A quantum memory can easily store this spatial superposition using a dual rail configuration, after which we convert the photons back to their original state. QNEXT has brought years of research and engineering together to not only realize a state-of-the-art room temperature quantum memory, but we've also designed it for plug-and-play use in any environment with long-term stability, becoming the foundation for future quantum communication networks.